All right, guys. All right, guys. Don't ask, don't ask the same questions once you hear it. It's too early, man. Devontae Davis is picking you. Uh, it's picking Lomachenko to beat you. What's your thoughts on that? Hey, everybody got a right, got their their right to their uh, you know their own opinion. Um, it is what it is. I, I was picking. I, I wouldn't say I was picking Ryan, but I was somewhat picking Ryan. I was saying that it was it would be a closer fight than what than what it was, and uh, I was wrong. So I mean, it's just. It's about me going here and proving all the doubters and the, the non-believers wrong. Devin, in the build-up to this fight, you said you know you want to end the, the career, push Vasily Lomachenko into retirement. Do you feel like this is a bit personal now? No, it's um, at the end of the day, it's business. It's a fight that I've been wanting for a long time, and uh, now the time has finally come, and uh, I'm just going to take care of business. Hey, champ, you said that um, after this fight, you know, we we know that you was going to be a free agent, but now you like to stay with the top rank. So you want to stay with Top Ring moving forward? Yeah, we just got to see. Um, you know, I, I like what Top Ring has done with the promotion. Everything that they, you know, put into it has been a big buzz around it, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy with it, and uh, we'll see. Once I'm victorious, then I can tell you more about it. But uh, I'm pleased with, with with the way Top Ring has been handling things. Chad Jamel Charlo also came out stating, "If Lomachenko is old, quote, I'm old too." Charlo's picking Lomachenko to beat you. Does that surprise you? Like I said, um, you know, whoever. You know, it's everybody has a right to their own opinion. It's boxing. Um, at the end of the day, I'm proved the, the non-believers and the, the people who's picking me to lose. I'm proven wrong. Devin, you, you've said that you didn't feel you was very impressed by Vasily's last performance. There's no doubt in the ability he has, but do you feel like you're fighting a faded version of Lomachenko? No, we we're prepared for the best Loma. You know, we're prepared for it. We watched his best performances, and you know, when he was at his best, um, you know, he was coming off off of war and you know a bunch of stuff. So you know, we're not gonna you know hold that one performance. We're gonna look. We look. We we're studying the best ones, and um, we're prepared for whatever he brings to the table. We've been studying him. We know, you know, we know the things he does good. We know the things that he does bad. We know his habits. We know what he likes, what he doesn't like, and um, we look to exploit it. What, what did you see in the face-off right there? Because I know you did one in a press conference. In the day, you know, he's he's a a, a true champion. You know, he's battle tested. He's gonna show up to fight on uh, Saturday night, and so am I. So you know, it, it is what it is. I know a lot has been made of your size. Everybody talks about your size. And you even stated that moving up to 140 is sooner rather than later. How was it making weight this camp? Oh, man, this, this the weight has been, like, tremendous, like, tremendous difference from this camp to last camp. I also had my chef here eight weeks this camp. Last fight, I had him for four weeks. The, uh, first camp was fight, I had him for six weeks. So this fight, I was able to bring him in early. But before that, he, the last fight he was working with Triple G, so I only had him four weeks. So that was another. That was a big reason of why you know I look dry on the scale. But um, this training camp has has been great. I've been um, I've been uh, very disciplined, and uh, I'm prepared to make the weight healthy and uh, come come in strong on Friday night.